Commence Operation Unity 2012. A plane has crash-landed at the Kelowna International Airport with 38 people on board, after it was allegedly hijacked. If you can hear me, walk, if you can walk, please come forward. Over 40 agencies are participating in the largest mock disaster to ever take place in the central Okanagan. And the biggest challenge of the day will be communication. We have a regulatory requirement every five years uh, to really a stage uh, a major disaster exercise uh, on the airport. So uh, we'll get to test uh, uh, the whole uh, scenario uh, and see where our strengths are and see where our weaknesses are. But one of the weaknesses was uh, the, uh, the communications. You know, are people on the right frequencies? Are they talking to each other on the proper frequencies? Are they passing on critical information to each other uh, that other agencies need in terms of formulating their response? UBCO is also playing a vital role in the event as students dress the part as the victims, both literally and figuratively. I think it's a great opportunity to be involved in the prosthetic wound, kind of the whole experience of it, because it's, it's pretty full on. And plus I hate flying, so I thought maybe if I simulated it, it would somehow make it better. Emergency coordination centers are set up to support the incident site. Over 175 staff and volunteers gather to help make the tactical decisions. Uh, to do whatever they need us to do, take names, fill out forms, whatever. We're also attending in the hospital to help with the social work, I think it's the social workers there, but to assist, you know, the family that are looking for friends, take names, uh, the walking wounded. Uh, we'll then start to find them accommodation if they can't get home tonight. We'll, they came off the plane, you know, without their shoes and their luggage is stuck out there. We can look after that. We probably need to prepare for multiple deaths on campus um, and, a, and a, a full community response to that. We will have, we will need, we will need grief counseling. The media are told seven people are dead, ten critically injured, and they could be all UBCO students. The campus has also been contaminated with jet fuel. But in reality, the mock disaster is over, and it's been declared Operation Success. You know, I, I hate to predict it, but most of the people that are here today will deal with a disaster in their um, you know, time, in their job, in their role. And I guarantee you they will look back on today and think about the work that was done and the situation they were in and, and um, you know, do better in the real thing because of uh, their, their participation in practice in the, in the mock emergency. The cost of the exercise totaled more than $50,000 and took over 18 months to coordinate. Jen Zielinski in Kelowna for Castanet News.